Oh, I think you're gonna be tapped, this is probably comes with a result. Oh, excellent. Oh, what a tear. Oh, no, I hope not. I've met out like I know what I'm talking about. I could ruffle some feathers and say I'm, I'm not really enjoying it. But see, that to me isn't a lager. Fucking hell. It's not good for me, Chris. I'm gonna be devastated if this is Carlin. It smells like dog biscuits. At the end of the day, dude, if you never appear on the channel again, other than the, the kind of calls, it doesn't matter. I've got to host a channel with credibility. So there's a lot of good craft lager out there, or at least enough to know that I don't have to order a Madri every time I'm gagging for a crispy boy. But what about other people? What about people who aren't craft beer inclined? With all biases removed, would they be able to taste the difference? Well, that's what we're going to find out today, because I've got my macro beer loving friend Johnny Macro here. Hello Chris. And basically today, I've gone out and bought 12 different lagers, some macro, some craft, and we're going to try them blind, rate them, and kind of see where we fall at the end. So, John, tell us about your general drinking habits. I'd rather not discuss that on, yeah. on camera, especially. To say that you're a macro lover. It's fair. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fair. fair, but also you're not like a complete beer novice. You know, obviously we do the calendar crawl together, you're the co-founder of that, and we basically go across to all these pubs and you will branch out and you will try some of what we're trying. Yeah, I'm more than willing to try new ones. It's just, I'm, I'm fairly simple. If I like something, why change? Absolutely, and I think especially when you kind of come towards these kind of uh, economic pressures that we're all kind of going through now, you know, not everyone can throw five pound at a can of a, a craft lager when you think, well, I can go to the pub and have that for three pound 50. Pubs are you going to? I was going to say, <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's none of those anymore, is there? But anyway, so yeah, we've got a Paul Meister General who's just off camera. Hello. And he will be pouring them. We don't know what he's pouring, and he's going to bring them out one at a time. We're going to try it, give our first impressions, and then rate it. But yeah, let's uh, let's get stuck in with beer number one. So give it a bit of a swirl, give it some head. <laughs> What you're getting from that. So yeah, generally the, the etiquette on these sort of things is you sniff it. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not getting a lot from that to be honest. It smells um, damp. Yeah. So, cheers. Cheers. It's fizzy, so that's good. Yeah. Carbonation's there. I quite like that. I'm not sure. Not sure. I'm getting a bit of honey. I mean, you're right with damp. <laughs> Are there any that you think, macro beer wise, because you've drunk so many of them or it's because you go to, if it does feature today that you might be able to pick it out from a police line of lagers? I'd like to think so, but I could be setting myself up to fail here. I'd like to think I'd get a Budweiser maybe, or Stella. We'll see, I guess. We'll see. If you were to, if I was to pin you down and say, is that craft or macro? I'd be going macro. Would you? Yeah, I would, yeah. Any reason for that one? Not really. <laughs> it does taste like something I've had before, but I can't, I can't nail it down. Yeah. All right, down the hatch. Yeah. Okay, so we've just finished that first one. What are we going to go for, for a rating? Do you want to go out of five, out of ten? What are you thinking? Out uh, of five's good for me. Out of five? Un works for untapped. <laughs> True enough. <laughs> so what are we going to go for? Um, I'll go with a... Start with an average, a three. Yeah, it's, it's quite hard to tell when it's the, the very first beer yeah. that you've had. 3.25 for me. I'm, okay. I'm enjoying that. Okay, so we're back now for beer number two. Um, I mean, first impressions on looking at that, I'm going to say... Well, actually, I'm not going to say. I'm going to let you say it. Cause this is... yeah, it's, uh, it's craft, I would say. Yeah, I think just by looks just by at looking it, at it, it's it's yeah. definitely it's um, oh, unfiltered. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's craft. Smell wise, I'm getting it's quite citrusy. Which see, is, that, see that to me isn't a lager. I, I'm not going to disagree with you because I I kind of feel like have we accidentally poured a, th th a pale ale yeah, there? Yeah, that's not lager. Call it craft lager if you like, but it's not lager. Mm. So to talk about what differentiates an ale and a lager, I think it's just that they're brewed with um, different yeasts. So ales are brewed with ale yeasts and lager is its own kind of yeast strain. 
I don't know, like even even if that is a lager yeast, I, I kind of feel like there's a lot that's gone into that that is almost ale process in terms of the... the it's hops. almost, to me, it's like an IPA. Yeah. For me, it's... Uh, it's a 2.5. For the sake of it being a lager tasting, I'm Should gonna... Write it, give it a rating as being a lager. Yeah, and I'm gonna go with you on that. I'm gonna go two and a half down the middle because it's not an unpleasant drink. It's a lovely, lovely drop actually. It's okay, very, yeah. very refreshing. So, beer number three. There's some uh, serious head retention on that. Yeah. That's uh, good going, let's... Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said I that. My nose just broke. Nothing. Well, I, I guess, I, mean, I hope it tastes yeah. better than it. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything in there. <laughs> there's the in there. <sighs> Again, nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm getting very little from that. I'm going to say I've had it. Yeah. It's a macro. If there was a craft brewer out there that managed to make a beer with the ingredients that they tend to sauce and throw in that tasted like that, I'd be disappointed. You mean that doesn't taste like anything? <laughs> this is where this turns out to be one of my favourites. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, let's let's not dwell on this one too much because there's, there's not there's a lot There's not a lot to dwell on. <laughs> um, it's, not very, it's not very busy. It has got some head retention. Doesn't smell like anything. Doesn't taste like anything. I'm getting soda water, pretty much. Let's rate it. There's nothing to it, is there? I mean, it's not bad tasting, so I don't want to score really low. But, oh, two. I'm really torn between going 1.75 and two. So let's go 1.88. No. <laughs> let's go 1.88 because, yeah. you know, why not? Beer number four. First impressions, looking at it, good head retention. Yeah. Nice, light colour. Um, what do you think? It's not, not completely clear, but... It's not completely clear, no. Hmm. Not a lot there again. Yeah. There's definitely more than the one There's, before. Yeah, but... yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm unsure. You're not sure? In terms of like, you're not sure in if you're terms like of or... now, in terms of macro craft, that tastes fucking great. It's lovely, yeah. Um, I don't think I've had it before, so I'm going to say it's craft. The thing that might give that one away as well is it's not completely clear, so it's it's that would which would suggest that it's unfiltered. Obviously, macro producers generally make sure that they smash the shit out of that and make sure that there is no like, you know, haziness to it. But that said, this does drink. Like a, it drinks a macro. I don't want to say macro quality because that's not necessarily means it a good thing. But it that could fool people if that was in a black glass. Yeah, gets a high score from me. I think. Yeah, four point two five. I'll go four and a half. I mean, it's pushing one of the best lagers I've had. Right. Is then. it me or does that look darker than the ones we've had before? That. So beer number five. Five. Beer number five. I'm already losing count. Oh no, yeah. Um, <laughs> Only seven more to go. <laughs> <laughs> that is proper amber. That's that's what you'd expect from, I'd say, uh, the looks of a lager. Where are you going in? Yeah. I'm not getting anything on the nose really. Oh. Bit of maltiness. Maybe, no, maybe not even that. Oh, I, I might take a stab at that one, you know. What are you saying? Macro. Macro, it's got to be yeah, in it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, amber. I'm not mad on the flavour of it. Oh, I could drink that all day. Do you want to take that stab? Uh, no, no. Say it. It's fine. I, I can always cut it out of the video if you don't want it. Star of Praman. Whether I don't know whether you've bought that or not, I don't know anything, but that is the flavour I'm getting. Right then, let's let's rate this one and crack on. I mean, it's 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 actually got better as I've drank it since I've. I think 
The problem is it's come off the back of what I would probably say is going to be hands down the, the best lager I think I'll, I'll, I'll have today. I'd be very surprised if one comes out that's better than that. Yeah. I'll go four. Okay. I'll give that pretty lady a three, seven, five. So here we are now at the halfway point. How are you feeling? I'm all right at the minute. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just, it's the speed that we're getting through. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be the thing. I mean, what do you think of this one? Let's give it a little swirl. Oh. Oh, wow. That's craft. <laughs> Undeniably craft. I, that, that smells absolutely powerful. There's like a bit of lemon. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Oh, yeah, I do like that. You do? Yeah, yeah. This could be the divider. Mm. You're not a fan? No. We've been scoring fairly evenly so yes, far. So... We've, we've been matching scores. It's not great for me, that. It's... That's a two. Two? Two. And I feel like I'm being generous. Oh, really? Yeah, you're not, you're I'm really not, not a fan. fan. No. no. I think if we look at this in terms of maybe there's categories of craft lager, there's kind of like craft lager that is almost... Trying to be macro. Macro in a sense yeah. of like it, it could win over your standard yes. lager yeah. drinker because the flavours aren't too powerful. It's all quite balanced and muted. Um, and then you've got ones which are probably a great example of a lager style, but they don't hold back with the flavour. It's literally, it's, it's, it's made for... You can certainly tell the difference. Yeah. I'm going to go with that. that. That's a four. Are we having halves now? No. <laughs> it's just that there's more in this one than there was in Ah, oh, right, OK. <laughs> OK, so beer number seven. 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 I mean, looking at that now, clear as you like through there. Proper amber. Macro. Ooh, I think I could guess this yeah, one. Yeah, just off the smell. Mm. Well, you know what's in there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. What are, we, what are we thinking? What, do you like that? Yeah, I like it. Kind of beer I could drink all day. Not that I do that. Drink responsibly, kids. <laughs> There's flavour and stuff happening, but also it's definitely not pushing any. It's not pushing yeah. any boundaries. Do you want me to guess what I think it is? Just guess. Just ha have a stab. I'm gonna go Stella. That's exactly what I would have said. I think that's that's to me. Yeah. The the nose because I was. It was Stella's, the smell. It was the smell. Got that as very, soon as I smelt it. Yeah, yeah. That kind of. I don't know, it's almost like a, a... Weed. So, where do we kind of want to fall in terms of rating? Well, Stella always gets a good score for me, assuming it's Stella. So, so you're, I... you're, you're going to die on that hill? Oh, yeah, I am, yeah. I'm going to go for it. To be fair, I'd follow you up it, so, yeah. It'll get a, get a four from me. Four, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go three, seven, five. It's a good lager. Beer number eight. It smells like dog biscuits. It does, it does smell like dog biscuits. <laughs> craft. Straight off the bat. Saying straight away, craft. Straight off the bat's craft. <laughs> sort of tastes like dog biscuits. <laughs> it does a bit. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. What's your thoughts on that? It's. It's not good for me, Chris. Firstly, give it a rating, because I think... Okay. Like I so, I think I know which one this is, and I, I, we can kind of rate this in two ways. So I'll go 275. 275, okay, that's, that's a good 275. score. 275. It's not horrible, but it's not. Yeah, it's so... It's not enjoyable. I'm going to take a stab, because I've thrown in an alcohol-free, and I'm going to take a oh, stab. Okay. This is, oh, is, I didn't know that. Is this Lucky Saint? There we go. So this is an alcohol-free ah, lager. I didn't know that at all. So with that in mind, I mean, would would you rate, now knowing that that is an alcohol-free, would you rate that differently? No. No, you'd, you'd no, still no, be No, no, I'm going to stick with the dog Fair biscuits. Enough. On flavour and taste alone, forgetting that I know what it is, I would give this a 2.75. We're matching. The beer number nine. First impressions? I mean, it looks craft. It's not clear. Like you said earlier, it's not filtered. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it had full no one. 
Mm. Yeah, it's craft. Yeah. What, do you, what are your thoughts? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's probably the most bitter of the uh, of, of the ones that we've had so far in terms of... I th there's quite a kick. I think I've had that before. Oh, okay. But uh, the problem is I can't tell you what craft lager I've had before. No. It's nice. It is good. I could ruffle some feathers and say I'm, I'm not really enjoying it. Are we going to disagree again? We, this may be another one where we disagree. For me, there's a lot of bitterness there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am getting that. But it's not a bad thing, but it's just not... It, it's completely at odds with everything that we've had so far along the way. So it's lemon. Lemon in this one. Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's a bit of like a... But I think we, we, we both agreed that it's, it's a craft. 100%, yeah. Um, what would you rate it? What would you score it? It's not a bad one. It's not bad. I'll go... 3.5. I'm going to go oh, 3.25, I think, for mine. You said you weren't enjoying it. <sighs> Don't let me sway your decision. It's very... There's a lot of bitterness there. There is a lot of bitterness, yeah. yeah. But I don't necessarily dislike that. From a lager, it's a, it's a weird one for me. So... Um, but Sticking it, with it, but it isn't it isn't offensive. Three, two, five. I'll go with a three. Three. Okay. Here we are then. Beer number ten. What are we thinking from this? From the off, looking at it. Looking at it, looks like macro. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's that's amber nectar there. Not necessarily amber nectar as in Foster's, but let's get in. Let's have a. Nothing, right? Well, no, that's there not. is a bit. There is something, but it's not. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with macro. That's all right. That is. Yeah. I know that that's a macro. I don't know what it is, but that's okay. It's, um, it's okay. It's yeah. not great. It's okay. This is kind of like macro lager 101. I feel. I think if I was, if I was a, a big brewer and I was trying to make something to cater to all tastes, that you could put some lime in, that you could put a, you know, a, a dash of lemonade in, that you could just drink straight and have six yeah. pints of it, that would be the thing that I'd... Was Foster's in there? Because I'm gonna, I'm going with Foster's. Foster's wasn't in there. No. No. I really don't mind it. It's... No, it's not bad. It's not great, it's not bad. You do wonder, like, after nine already, in fairly quick succession, kind of how does that impact on your taste buds anyway? Yeah, exactly. What score do you want to give that? Go the same as last time, 3.5. It's not bad, it's not great. I think honestly, I've got to look at it from the perspective of, if I was writing this and it was made by a craft brewer, what would I score it? And it would be 3.75. Penultimate beer, beer number 11. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, what we're, what we're thinking from the looks of it. Good head retention. I mean, I, I... That's hanging out for a bit, that is. Yeah. Looking at it, that could go either way. I think. I think if I looked at that, I'd have to say it was a macro, just because it's so see-through. But then that said, who knows? It doesn't give much away, the smell. Well, no, there's not. I want to go macro, but... That's going against the curve, because so far we've gone macro, craft, macro, craft. Well, at least craft, that's what craft. you think. We don't, well, that's what we, we think, we yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas this is now two macros in a row. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even thinking about it like that, and my maths would be, not be up to scratch <laughs> to, even, <laughs> <laughs> to even contemplate. But uh, This is the curveball. This is the one which I wasn't expecting, because we've gone macro, craft, macro, craft, and we've now gone macro, macro, I think. I like it. I think that's a really, really good beer. That's nice. That is good. It's good. Writing wise, that's a good one. Oh, I'm going macro. I am. I'm going macro. I'm going to be devastated if this is Carlin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I literally cannot tell you how devastated I'll be <laughs> if that's Carlin and I'm saying it's a good beer. He'll write his re resignation after this. <laughs> 
I'll give that a four. It gets a, a four, two, five from me. It's good. The final. The ultimate, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I kind of, at this point, I am feeling a little bit squiffy and I, I'm, I don't know. Like, I'm looking at that and I know what I want to say. What do you want to say? Again, it looks macro. It looks which macro. Which would mean three macros in a row, if we're right. Yeah. I mean, let's have a sniff. Nothing. Oh, uh, a little bit, a little bit, something. Macro. Which would mean we've, we've gone wrong. Yeah. I'm very upset about that. <laughs> I think the last one was craft. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to transport ourselves back to our first beer. Okay. Not, not literally our first beer. Our first beer of this afternoon when I think this kind of brings it full circle for me. There's not a lot going on on the nose. It's quite muted in taste, but it's not, it's not shit. It's, it's not a bad drink. It's a good drink. I'm going to go 375. I'll go 275. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's... Even though earlier you gave one that was 325, I think you said. You're pointing out my biases. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You said you weren't enjoying one, yet you gave it like a 325 or something. I just kind of and feel... And now you're giving this a 275 when you say there's nothing wrong with it. There's, but there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing necessarily right with it. You know, it's it, it's it's totally middle of the road, and I'm I'm being generous by giving it that extra two point five, as not to be okay. totally down the middle. So I think two point seven five I think is a fair score. Okay. So that concludes the twelve lagers tasting session. John, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm all right. I think I think I can carry on. <laughs> there's no more beers. So now what we'll do is we will do the unveiling of the beers. So, beer number one, beer Moretti. We both guessed that was a macro. Yep. You scored that one as a three. Yeah, three. You yeah, scored, yeah, yeah. I think I scored that one as a three, 3.25, which is quite interesting because normally... It's surprising for me. Yeah. It's normally one of my favourites. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. yeah. Second beer, West Coast Pills by Left Handed Giant. Um, I think this is the one that I kind of threw in as a bit of a curveball because... That was the one which, it wasn't a lager. Not really a surprise on that one. I think it was um, it was one I kind of threw in as a bit of a curveball. Curve, curveball. It said West Coast and Pills. And I suppose to give it a bit of credit, a light and crisp malt bill is combined with mosaic tetanaga and citra hops inspired by the US's West Coast modern take on the traditional German style. So it sounds like it's an imitation of an imitation. Right. But whatever, either way, we both didn't, <laughs> we didn't feel we, that no. that felt like it ticked off the... It, it wasn't a lager for me. The beer, which I think didn't surprise me, um, and it, well, it just didn't, it didn't do anything. No. No, it, no it, taste, no smell, nothing. I think maybe that beer will be able to stop you from dehydrating on a holiday, but other than that, uh, didn't do much. Number four, Lost and Grounded Hells. Now, Lost and Grounded are one of the most sung about, they're a great lager brewery, craft lager brewery. Are they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. so basically they just dedicate their time to making different lagers. Okay. And well, this... they seem to know what they're doing. Absolutely, and this is quite this is quite interesting because we've had this one before, and I've given you that, and you didn't like it. But what score did we have here? I gave it a four point two five, and I gave it a four and a half. Generally, I thought that was an absolutely exceptional beer. Yeah. Like I thought it was just I could have drunk that till the cows come home. Yeah. I'm surprised that a craft has come out as the top scoring. Really? I am. Yeah. Yeah. I am, yeah. yeah. Be, being a generally macro guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that that's happened. So, Carlin, um, a bit of a surprise because I think you you did take a guess on this one. Yeah, I took a stab at Star of Primum, which turned out to be wrong. So, and you gave it a four, I gave it a three, seven, five, and I think I remember saying that that was a good beer. Are you surprised you've given Carlin a three, seven, five? I am absolutely 100% surprised that I've given Carlin a three, seven, five, but I am relieved that it wasn't that one <laughs> towards the end. <laughs> Beer number six, so halfway through. 
the one where we disagreed. I think that's where we can draw the line, that kind of line down the middle. I didn't enjoy it. No. I think we both definitely agreed that it was a craft, but I, for, for me, I thought it, it really ticked off that kind of craft lager element. But Beak, great brewery, um, more than I can say for um, Molson Coors, um, who did Carlin. But I thought it was, a, it was a great beer, but obviously a divisive one on this point. But you still gave it a two, so it, wasn't still, it still wasn't the lowest point that we, we got to here. I don't think I gave any less than a two. Oh, okay. Bit of a surprise on this one. Because big surprise, <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. we both pretty much guessed that this was Stella. Yeah, um, I, 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 I went in on Stella as well. I said it yeah, yeah, many yeah. times, yeah. and I, I know that there is a Stella to come. So I'm not sure where that's now going to fall in because I was nailed on thinking. I, I, I smelt that and thought that's a Stella all day yeah, long. Absolutely. Um, I remember just thinking that that wasn't that wasn't a bad beer at all. I think I gave that a three seven five. Yeah, and you I gave, gave it a four. As, as much as what I said earlier in the little opening where I said about, you know, ordering Madbury and, and whatnot. Maybe. You seem to enjoy it. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have said but, that. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> that still doesn't account for the fact that this beer should not be masquerading as some sort of fucking Spanish beer. That's ridiculous. It's brewed in Burton. Totally English invention. Fuck off. Next one. <laughs> Lucky Saint, obviously the, the kind of the curveball that I threw in there in the sense of it being alcohol free. <laughs> obviously didn't surprise me because I knew that there was an alcohol free one in there. And then when you said dog biscuits, I was like, it's, it's probably that one. <laughs> did it surprise you in terms of when you found out that it was alcohol free? It did, yeah, it did. I, I, I just thought it was a bit of an uh, obscure taste. You thought it might have been craft for yeah, the Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I think if, if we're being fair to it, I mean, I did, I did ask you at the time, you still would have rated it the same, knowing absolutely. that it was alcohol free. Yeah. But I think that still rates better than a Bex Blue. If I'd have thrown a Bex Blue in there instead of that, I still reckon that would have done better. Yeah. Maybe next time I'll do a macro alcohol free and we'll just see how that kind of goes. Okay, maybe don't invite me for that one. So Don Zoko, um, Scottish Brewery, Again, another lager brewery. They pretty much dedicate themselves to just brewing that. They don't, they don't fuck around brewing anything else. A bit like Lost and Grounded. I had this the other day, and I threw this in. I was expecting to enjoy this one, literally, as probably... I would have... If you'd have asked me at the start which one will rank the highest in your ratings, knowing what's in there, Don Zerko would have been my highest. I'd have got my So that's interesting. Yeah. Carlsberg. <laughs> uh, I knew it was going to be there. I didn't, I didn't know that... I was going to give it a 375, but I guess here we are. Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just said that. I really hope I gave it a shit score. Um, I, th I think I agree with what you said, just that the fatigue's coming at this point. Yeah. We're giving scores which we normally wouldn't. If that was the first, you it put would that have gone one. Yes, so beer number 11, the one that threw us both off at this point, I think, when we were going on this macro craft, macro We were, we were certain that was craft? Uh, macro. Uh, macro. Yeah, so we were certain that's macro. Now, to a point, and it's interesting to kind of caveat this, I'm pretty sure that counts as what, one of the Oktoberfest beers. Okay. So, by no stretch of the imagination is it necessarily small batch craft or anything like that, but what I will say is you wouldn't necessarily, although it is technically, I suppose, a macro, you wouldn't necessarily pile it in the same as Carling. Oh no, it's nowhere near as big as That sort of thing, because obviously Germans are the, the masters of lager and they have the, the it's called the, the purity law, the Reinheitsgebot, which is basically you need to brew it to a certain way for it to be a proper German beer. Yeah. It's the beautiful, the lovely Stella Artois. Which we thought was... We both said it was macro. Seventh, Madre. I am surprised by my 2.75 because I actually, as, as far as macro lagers go, Stella, Stella's a good one. Yeah, it's yeah. a good one. Um, what did you score it? 3.75. Which I think is fair. I think yeah. that's probably what I would have expected to score that. So, I'm, I'm like I say, I'm quite Maybe surprised. it was the poorer. <laughs> it oh. could, <laughs> could have been the 11 other beers, I don't know. <laughs> one of those. So, the big winner of the day, I think we can definitely say the big winner stands up here in Hells on that one. by Lost and Grounded. And also, we have to say, am I going to do this? 
I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna yeah, do it for a bit. Do it. Yeah, yeah. This could all go terribly wrong. Yeah. So the standout so craft beers wins. of the day. Craft wins, by the looks of it. Craft wins. Craft wins. How's about that? So I think at the very beginning, when I was doing this, because I, I mentioned to a few people that I was doing this thing, and they were like, well, what do you hope to achieve by it? Or, you know, what are you expecting? And I think in an ideal world, what I would have expected is that the six crafts would have been above the six macros. So I would have expected the opposite. Interesting. So, but obviously you're coming at it from a, from I, a different Yeah, lens. absolutely, yeah. Now, obviously, I don't think really that that was ever going to be the case. I think there was always going to be some curveballs, there was always going to be some spin-offs where we're like, actually, that turned out to be that, and wow, surprise. Especially with a style like lager, which is quite samey throughout. Yeah, it can be. This boy, though, how's about this guy? Lost and Grounded Hells, or Hellas. Take me to a bar, Chris. We'll go and drink the night away. I guess we've got... <laughs> On that note, <laughs> why are we wasting time here? Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. We'll do part two of this, because why the hell not? Um, see you soon.